Welcome back, Family of Light. This is Davida with Medium of the Light Tarot. All right, my Aries, this is another love reading for you. Now, this time we are going to be using the Golden Art Nouveau. For those of you who care. Now, if you are new here, welcome. If you are a returner, why welcome back, my friend. Now, if this one doesn't resonate with you, go ahead and check out my playlist. And then just go by the title. <coughs> Excuse me. So this is you, this is them, this is the storyline. Now, you have the Queen of Wands, the Three of Pentacles, and the High Priestess card. The overall is the Six of Pentacles. So equal give and take, being in a good financial state to give. With this Queen of Wands here is the Eight of Swords. So you're feeling caught up by something and being silent about it here. You want to build a solid foundation And you know that you need to have strength about it here. You're definitely up in your head about something. So you've got the Queen of Wands and the Queen of Cups here with the High Priestess. So you're very much in your fire, your passion, and you have a little bit of knowing about what's going on here. And you're trying to gain more clarity because you're tired of how this person is going, is conducting themselves here. This person has two coins here. So they have the Eight of Pentacles and the Knight of Pentacles in the middle with the King, I mean the um, Ace of Swords here. They might be concerning themselves mostly with money. Yeah, and they're not really sharing what their plans are. They want to offer this coin here, but they're very, very slow moving. You know, what I'm hearing here, because I am a psychic medium, is that they want to go deeper with you, but they're scared and they're confused. With this Ace of Swords here is the Knight of Wands. They are contemplating the situation. I think with this Knight of Pentacles, they're taking forever. And it's really putting both of you in this state of, you know, poverty in thinking. You know, and I think with this overall card here, this person definitely wants to be in a power position when it comes to money. They want to be in a good financial spot. I feel that your person does have a lot of ego involved here so here comes the queen of pentacles so you might be somebody who has their money well in hand and then here is the empress and then here's the dark night of the soul here so your person might be thinking that you're a little too much for them with this queen of pentacles comes the judgment card Yeah, they're, I think they're trying to slow it down because they don't feel like they're enough. You know, with this Four of Cups here. They're like, yeah, you're, you're an empress, but I don't know if I deserve you. You know, and it's putting you in this Nine of Swords situation here where you're like, okay, I'm in my own purgatory as far as my thoughts. How do I move this forward? How do I get this person to see that when they leave me out in the cold, they leave themselves out in the cold as well? And it was interesting when I just heard was broke, a broke ass. I don't know exactly what that means. That might be the talk that they, how they talk to themselves. Like, oh, I'm a broke ass. Why would they want to, want to, why would they want to be with me? With this nine of swords, here comes the knight of cups. Yeah, you're wanting them to move forward. They've got to get over this thought of 
not being enough here. You know, they're too busy burdening themselves trying to make the coin. And they're not really seeing the true opportunity here. They're too busy thinking that they're going to be judged. Which is sad, really, because I don't feel like that's anything that you want to have happen. You want them to come forward in, uh, you know, a, an assured way where they know what they're doing, they know what they want. You don't want somebody who's coming in all wishy-washy like, well, I like you, but, you know, I don't know if I have the financial means for it. So here comes the lust card. Obviously, there's a lot of <sighs> attraction between the two of you. They really appreciate you. They think of you as a friend, like you guys have great conversation. There's so much that they want to experience with you. But all they want to do is kind of escape from it. And I think that's why it's so confusing for you. Now, if this is resonating with you, Aries, and or Cross Watcher, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Otherwise, you two will not pass it on to other people who need to hear this healing message. And it also helps my channel to grow. So I greatly appreciate that. Birth. Now, guys, tell me more about that. You know, there's a possibility that, you know, you want to have children or you want to expand and that's another thing that this person is scared of. And it's also a birth of expansion. I think this person, yeah, they just really have you on a pedestal. And they're, they're concerned. You know, and all you want is harmony. You're like, why are you making this harder than it needs to be? <laughs> I feel like you're a very, like, you know, driven calm and very focused person so you're like what's the drama here there's no need for all this drama drama and you're like i'm organized you're organized let's do this and i don't know if you can hear it but there is um like sirens going on outside i feel like there's there might be some sort of a need for this thing to move forward because you might be thinking about, okay, well, if this person can't come forward, maybe I'm going to have to find, you know, another, another beginning. You know, because you don't want to keep experiencing this. The separation, this heartbreak. And trying to figure out what the heck is going on with this person because they're too involved in their material world. You know, and I think a part of it is... Um, them avoiding because they don't want to get hurt either. I feel like you're very guided, but your person is definitely needing to wake up. You know, they're very much in their pride and in their ego and they're letting this get in the way. Now, what is it that this person is going to do to move this situation forward, if at all? Yeah, they're going to have to go through a dark night of the soul here. Now, guys, have they even started on the dark night of the soul? Sorry, the cards kind of flipped and hid. Compromise. There's going to be, need to be some sort of compromise. Either you gave them an ultimatum as like, hey, either, you know, come forward or I'm moving on. But they're saying that you might need to compromise a little bit more. If they're going to be going, oh, okay. So what I'm hearing from the guys is that if you have already done that, it's put this person in a dark night of the soul. Now, if you've been waiting for a while, you know, a pause here. Make sure that you, what I'm hearing is continue to live your life and don't let this situation take your life and just kind of run away with it. They're saying there's much more that you need to do than worry about a barrier. For some of you, the guides are saying it might be advantageous for you to go ahead and start dating other people if you have not already. 
because if this person's going to continue to put a mask on, then it might not be something that you want to wait around for. So always and forever, go by your own intuition. You know, this is just supposed to be, you know, little guideposts of which way to go. Third party, now what does that mean? Yeah, third party as far as them working too much. That avoidance. Okay. So, you know, you being an Aries, you definitely want to take action here. Now, what kind of action should they be taking here? What I'm hearing is holding this person accountable and having the strength to be able to say, I'm going to walk away because I'm going to prove to myself that I have self-worth enough to walk away from somebody who can't move forward with me. I'm not saying that's for everyone, but for what it's worth, you know, you walking away is going to cause this. And the guys are saying something about this compromise card again, like you might be interested in um, having the patience and the strength to wait because good things will come when you compromise. So you're just going to have to really go on your own intuition here. Fifth dimension. So in the in your dream world, you know, maybe you're telepathically communicating with them as well, where you guys have a lot of things in common and you might already be in union or in some sort of a deep relationship on another reality, the fifth dimension, rather than the third dimension. You know, especially if this is a high level twin flame soulmate connection. That is very possible. So you do show a lot of devotion. This person is not involved with anyone else. They're just keeping themselves really, really busy with trying to avoid the situation here. But like I said, if you've already given them an ultimatum or backed away or whatever you've done, it's they're saying that's going to be necessary to have them really look at what they're running from and why they don't think that they're good enough. Okay. Let's see. Patience. Yeah, you're going to have to have some patience here, and it shows it here. I mean, the person's going to have to see the error of their thought process and see how it's holding them back. So you will, if you choose to, you know, to have patience on that. You know, and in the meantime, you might want to go exploring other gardens, other hobbies, other interests. You know, because like I said, there was a, there's a part where they're saying, you know, don't stop living, that you're getting so obsessed with the situation, that you're not moving yourself forward. So always make sure that you're you're giving yourself what you need and why you came here. You didn't come here to go try to fall in love with somebody who isn't interested or who is scared to death and is going to focus on finances instead. I mean, you instinctively know when you hear the words that are coming out of my mouth, you're like, yeah, I get that. You have way more to offer. Now, guys, in closing, what do you say about this person coming forward here? What is the messages? Past life relationship. You have known each other before. This is the second card of deception with this mask here. Now, guides, give me more information about that. What I'm hearing with this deception card, because it says someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship. When what I heard was the mask needs to be ripped off. So if you haven't already come, come clean and said, Hey, this is taking too long. You know, I'm, you know, I'm concerned that you might not be as interested as in me as I am in you and moving this forward. So, you know, and just, they're saying like, rip the mask off, whether it's your own, because you haven't been speaking your truth here with the Empress. I mean, the high priestess, but there's some, there's a mask that needs to be ripped off. 
you know, and of course you're probably not the one who wants to do it, but I feel like you're the one who has to do this. Say, so, wow, I think you're kind of a little bit of a workaholic. Is that true? You know, so remember to work on you. Don't forget to, you know, be living. If you think that you would like to go and date, go ahead and do so. Or tell this person, hey, I'm going to rip the mask off. What do you think about that? Boom. And it's going to send them straight into a dark night of the soul here. And that this is going to take some time and patience. So buckle up, buttercup. And go find the things that you want to go do that fulfill you. All right. I hope that was helpful for you, my Aries and our cross watchers. And I will see you guys next time on Medium of the Light.